Whatnot has banned one of their biggest streaming teams, Blake's Breaks, and all of the employees that were involved with that team. Even after Blake's Breaks made $11 million in sales in less than a year. Blake's Breaks was banned for streamers on their team, scamming customers and selling resealed packs. And today I'm going to show you some footage that has never before been seen by the general public that shows some shady dealings and the fact that Whatnot may have been covering all of this up for the past two years. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. I'm sure everybody knows about the whole Blake's Breaks situation. Essentially, Blake's Breaks was one of the largest streamers on Whatnot, and they did over $11 million in sales in less than a year, and Whatnot has chosen to ban Blake's Breaks and everybody affiliated with all of their streams and all of their team for scamming people on the platform and selling resealed packs. Now, most of you watching this probably have seen all of the coverage that was going on with this has been very well documented on YouTube. If you haven't, you can go and you can go Google search that on YouTube and find that, but I will give you all a quick brief synopsis of it, as well as we're gonna look at some footage that's two years old that shows some really crazy and, and shady practices that happened almost two years ago and points to some stuff that looks like Whatnot could have been covering it up this whole time. So all of this came to light as we started getting a bunch of news articles that were actually reporting on this situation. The first of which being a news article right here by NJ.com said, X Giants player under fire for alleged poke Pokemon card scam. We saw that, and then really soon after that, we saw Whatnot post a post on Twitter basically saying that they appreciated the community's commitment and that they have chosen to ban Blake's Breaks from Whatnot and all of the employees involved in that. And then even some huge articles and some much larger news sources like Barstool Sports started covering it, and you can't even Google search it without seeing a ton of articles all talking about this specific situation. And this situation is getting a ton of press and a ton of publicity. If you're watching and you haven't seen any of this and you don't know what's going on, really quick and brief explanation before we jump into this footage that I wanna break down that's gonna show some really crazy stuff. Essentially what was happening is a, one of Blake's streamers, Snee, was found swapping out packs in a Guess the Energy game. You can see where she swaps out the packs and that kind of started it all off. And then there was some other footage that was leaked where showing Snee opening up packs that were clearly resealed. Uh, packs that when you zoom it and close, you know, zoom the, zoom the camera in and slow it down, you can see the packs being opened up and they're not closed on the bottom and other situations where you can see Snee grabbing packs and intentionally pushing the packs down so that she can grab the cards because the bottom of the packs are not sealed and then you can see where the bottom of the packs aren't even crimped and sealed where it almost looks like they've been cut and she's putting her fingers there holding the packs where the cards won't fall out. That's kind of some of the stuff that really led to all of this. And then we even had some leaked images from Blake's Discord of, I'm guessing they're either mods or members of his group. Uh, basically right here you see uh, this person PMW saying, also something me and P would have been doing is if you see that you have hit a lot of bounties out of a box and you think that it's close to empty, fill up a box with these packs that are left over and within a few streams you should have a whole box that's been primed for you and you can go on a big run. And remember that name P would right there. Basically what that's saying right there is they are teaching people and the sellers in their discord to essentially, if they're opening packs and they're playing these bounty games and the bounties and the cards that people are chasing are being hit, meaning you go through a booster box and say you open 20 packs and the bounty and the chase is hit, now you have like, what, 12, 15 packs, 16 packs left over that are cold packs that nobody can pull the bounties from. They're saying, take those packs, set them to the side, do that multiple times, and then you can do a stream where you can load up all the booster boxes with packs that nobody can hit bounties from and go and scam people thinking that they're gonna pay all, you know, upwards of 30 40 50 60 dollars for a potential to win a bounty when there's no possible chance for them to pull a bounty because you've made these boxes out of all the leftover cold packs so you see that surfaced right there as well them basically telling people in their discord what it looks like how to essentially screw people over. I mean, that's how that looks right there. And I think this was probably a big part of the investigation as well. Now we have to remember that because that piece of information right there is going to come, uh, in, come in handy and be very, very important here in a little bit. But here's something that I want to show you that has not been seen by the general public before today. I got in contact with the person who purchased this pack that we're going to see, and they have chosen to remain anonymous for many reasons. And what we're going to see here is we're going to see a stream from November of 2008. And 21, 
where Blake was doing a base set booster box break. And you got to remember in November of 2021, base set booster packs were very expensive. And so the base set Charizard was selling for a ton of money back then. And booster packs were selling for hundreds and hundreds. I've seen breaks back in 2021 where packs of base set were selling for $800 up to $1,000, depending on who was doing the whatnot stream. And so what we're gonna see here is we're gonna see one of these breaks being done. And then we're gonna see Blake take the hit off camera and slide the hit to the right to somebody who was helping him out and somebody named Live Pokey Auctions that was helping him with that stream. So we see the video right here. Okay, so it's gonna start off. You gotta look at it a few times. So let's just look at it and you're gonna see, okay, you can see the bottom camera is the box. The top camera is Blake's face and boom, you see right there, he slides something off to the side off camera and then he pulls the cards back up on camera. So we're gonna get a nice little zoom in right here. Boom, slides it off to the side and hides that card that was actually pulled from the hit. So the interesting thing about this that we wanna look at a couple times is if we look at this and you actually zoom in on a couple key parts, you can see that his hands are below the phone uh, and you can see that you can't actually see the cards on the camera. So the way this is set up is it's broken into about half and you can see where the chat's popping up. The chat is usually about the bottom half of the screen uh, on these whatnot streams. Uh, and so you should be able to see the cards right there. There's no reason why you can you can see the back of the, the background. You can see the actual booster box. You should be able to see the cards, but Blake has taken the cards below the camera and then you can see it zoom in and you can see him look at something get a little look on his face and then he takes a card while nothing's on camera slides it off to the right to live pokey auctions that's who's sitting right there another uh golden boy streamer from whatnot that is no longer live pokey auctions and has come back under his name bailey but these are two of the biggest largest streamers on whatnot and then the person you can see hit the hands that's actually craig the guy who runs all of whatnot tcg all in the room together all very chummy with craig the guy who's in charge of the entire trading card department at whatnot and we see him open a pack we see him take the hit, put it on the on the table and slide it off screen before he even shows the cards. And there's a lot to unpack here with this, okay? So first and foremost, uh, you should never take the cards off screen. There's no reason you should take cards off screen if it's a $5 pack, much less however much these packs are going for, $500, $600, $700. These packs were not cheap at this time. You should never take the cards off the screen. Second of all, you should never take a hit and put it on the table, hollow foil side down and slide it across the table on a pack that's that expensive, really on any pack, for, for that matter, but for a pack that's that expensive, you definitely are damaging the hollow foil on that pack. Second of all, why is there another large streamer right there okay with him sliding the hit off screen? And why is the guy who's in charge of all of Whatnot's TCGs right there okay with that happening as well? This opens up a lot of questions and a lot of doors, and let's dive into some other things and see we can figure out maybe what's actually happening here. So back in 2021, when this little video was shared in a few discords, it was shared in the discord of several different small indie trading card games, it was never really shared publicly, and this was shared in an Akora discord. Akora is an indie trading card game, and so we're gonna look at a few things right here. So in this discord, we're gonna see a few different things. So you can see right here where this video that I've just shown you guys was shared in some of these smaller discords. And you can see where whoever this notorious smooth is, I'm not really smoth, I'm not who, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, but you see right here, Craig says, so I was at this break, Blake slid the hit to Bailey, who's live pokey auctions, so that he could sleeve it and Blake could entertain the buyer and pretend that they hit a different card before revealing their actual hit. This was also back in November of 2021, I believe. So not sure what people need to watch beyond an NFL linebacker having some fun as he entertains the chat. And then you see somebody below saying, wow. First, I wanna break down, okay, this Craig, Craig right here, this is Craig who is in charge of the entire TCG department at Whatnot. Very, very, very powerful. He has the say about anything and everything that goes on in TCG at Whatnot. Very powerful position. So first of all, we have him saying he was in the room with that break. First, Blake slid the hit to Bailey so he could sleeve it and Blake could entertain the buyer and pretend they hit a different card before revealing the actual hit. You don't do that in a break. When you are opening cards live for somebody, you don't take the cards off camera, whether you're trying to entertain somebody or for any reason. For the posterity of your reputation, you leave those cards on screen the whole time. So 
Taking the sliding the card off camera to entertain the buyer is a big boo-boo. And we got to look at right here. We, we're trying to figure out right here, was, was there a scam actually happening or just something shady or something irresponsible? We're not exactly sure, but it doesn't look good what we're seeing right here. Sliding a hit from a very expensive pack face down off camera to try and potentially fool somebody according to what they're saying right here to explain this situation away. That in and of itself is not good. So first, right off the bat, we have either this card is being slid off and taken and replaced with something that's less valuable. That's the worst case scenario or best case scenario. They're sliding the card face down, not on a play mat, on a table, damaging the hit from a pack that somebody just bought for multiple hundreds of dollars, sliding it off camera so that they can entertain and play a joke on the buyer. If you bought a pack for $700 or however much they bought the pack, and the person that you bought the pack from took your hit and slid it across the table, damaging the hollow foil, and then tricked you saying you didn't get a good hit, do you think that would be funny? And furthermore, why is the leader of whatnot tcg in the room okay with that happening that's not okay that is card breaking 101 you don't take the cards off camera you don't fool people because now in this situation nobody knows was the card that was the hit stolen and replaced with something less valuable so we're going to go over here and we see uh over here you see craig says i know i was physically in that room somebody says what i'm saying is you don't do sneaky stuff like that why make it look like something that it isn't which is a great point craig again says some people's cards were graded from this uh, and were heavily delayed but that has nothing to do with that clip or cora which is the discord this is being talked about which is the server we're in and then you see somebody saying context and you see why even do something like that that could jeopardize your relationship and then we're going to go over here and you see somebody p wood now you remember p wood p wood from the screenshot where it was p wood and pmw telling people supposedly how to rig their bounty boxes so they could do bounty games and get people to pay you know 20 30 40 50 60 70 100 dollars for a bounty pack and there's never actually a bounty to be pulled you know the the screenshot we were showing where they were teaching people how to screw their buyers right this is the same p wood defending blake <laughs> so p wood says probably someone they have a good relationship with craig says uh take it out of context with no audio implying that blake is stealing a card that he doesn't even know because he hasn't seen it yet wild to claim and cause drama i guess and then you see because if you think blake would ruin his reputation for a card you're mistaken you don't know the context i'm not trying to, to be rude or accusatory or anything but we've seen what's happened Blake's Breaks has been completely banned and blacklisted from whatnot for cards being swapped, for resealed packs being sold, for his streamers screwing their customers. And like, there's no question about that. That's fact. So that comment by P Wood did not age very well. Somebody defending this situation who was seen to be somebody that was supposedly or allegedly helping to scam buyers on whatnot who is now banned from whatnot you see the how it all is weird and wrapped up right here so what we're seeing right here guys in this video is you're seeing again to to summarize you're seeing a base set box break that happened in 2021 and these packs were going for very very high prices okay then you're seeing somebody's pack get opened, the cards get taken off screen, the hit gets slid off to the side on no play mat, face down, probably damaging the hollow foil. That's what we're seeing, okay? That in and of itself, whatever the reasoning, it doesn't matter if Blake saw that it was a Charizard and slid it off screen to potentially or allegedly swap it out, or Blake was just trying to entertain somebody, that is irrelevant. As a professional breaker, when this is the very beginning of Blake's breaking career on whatnot, two, three, four months in, something like that, doing something like this with the help of another one of whatnot's largest streamers, with the man who is in charge of all of whatnot's trading cards genre in the room watching what's happening, that is so crazy and out of character 
And that is such a wild violation of the trust of doing breaks. Just that's it. Just the act of doing that, regardless of what the reasoning was. It doesn't matter if it was to swap out a card and steal it, or if it was just to entertain and play a joke on the person that just spent hundreds of dollars on a booster pack, which wouldn't make any sense. The reasoning behind it doesn't matter. The act of doing that is huge and very wrong. And the fact that this was two years ago, and then we see the defense from Craig in this other Discord, Craig is basically sweeping it under the rug saying there's nothing wrong with what happened here when there very obviously is a huge issue with this situation two years ago before any of these people got scammed before 11 million dollars in sales in less than a year and lord knows how many of those were people buying bounty packs that never had a chance at winning obviously so many that what not put out if you've ever purchased anything from blake's breaks to reach out to them so they can refund you clearly clearly a lot of people were taken advantage of this video happened years before that all of these scams that have been proven to be true and well documented on youtube and acknowledged by whatnot themselves could have been prevented but this situation was swept under the rug in my opinion taking the hit from a pack and sliding it off camera to the side regardless of the motivation should be grounds for termination immediately from any streaming platform because that is showing that you are not keeping everything transparent for your buyers and when you're doing pokemon card breaks or any type of break everything has to be transparent for the buyer otherwise there's no trust and the fact that this was covered up and defended when this again regardless of the reasoning this was covered up and defended by the man in charge of all of whatnot's trading card genre is really egregious and really makes me question the integrity of all of whatnot for the past two years and the guy that bought the pack reached out to me on discord and wants to be anonymous and i can totally understand why there's a lot of pressure and a lot of heat on this situation a lot of people aren't uh, comfortable with you know being up in front and center about stuff like this but he reached out and he here's his situation and his experience about what happened let's read this to you he reached out and he said so this video it was a base set break i bought a few packs in that break so he had bought multiple packs in that break no charizard had been hit yet he opens the pack does the card trick and takes the hit and slides it face down across the table goes through the cards as if it was a non-hollow hit and says just kidding revealing a venusaur already top loaded Someone in the chat was quick to call them out for doing that, but Craig was quick to say, cut it out and hush the person. The guy in the chat was saying out, saying that it was shady to take the card off screen, which it is, that's very shady to take that card off screen. And he says, as the buyer, I didn't realize what was going on until watching a screen recording later. After watching the video a few times, you can see that Blake's eyes light up when he sneaks a peek at the card after sliding it over. I think the Charizard got swapped out. So this is the buyer of the packs in the video in question. And it is his opinion, and this is his analysis of the situation, right? You see this supported by the fact that Craig said, hey, he was just doing it to play a joke and entertain the buyer, right? Like, I'm, I still can't get over that. Like, why a person who's in charge of all of whatnot TCG thinking that's okay to slide the hit off camera where there's no posterity, there's nothing to show that that wasn't swapped out to have to, for for Craig, the guy who runs whatnot TCG, to think that's okay, that is a huge, huge, huge issue in my opinion. For Craig to the guy who's in charge, now belaboring this point very much, for the guy who's in charge to hush the people in chat saying, "Hey, they just slid the hit off screen. They shouldn't be doing that." For the guy that's in charge to hush those people and tell them to be quiet is a massive issue, massive red flag. Two years ago, into the integrity of whatnot and the integrity of the person who's in charge of all of whatnot tcg so we see something shady like this happening right here in my opinion doing something like this is grounds to be terminated from a streaming platform and you, he should have been terminated for this and the fact that craig who's in charge of all of whatnot tcgs for lack of a better term swept it under the rug and explained it away as entertainment which even then is still inexcusable led blake to be able to stay on whatnot build a team of 20 streamers do 11 million dollars of sales in less than a year and now we have this huge scamming crap that's going on and who knows how many people have been affected all of this could have been avoided if craig would have done the right thing if whatnot would have done the right thing and if the people raising this up wouldn't have been silenced and this wouldn't have been swept under the rug back then this is absolutely 
insane to me that they would think that this is acceptable and okay. And we have to understand, the, the guy who bought the packs, he thinks the Charizard got swapped out. That's his opinion. And there's no way that we can verify or deny that because they took the card off the screen. So one of two things happened. They took, he saw, he saw it was a Charizard. Back then it was worth well over a thousand dollars. Saw it was a Charizard, took it off the screen to be stolen, allegedly. That, that is one scenario that this could have happened and then swapped it out with the Venusaur or swapped it off the screen and then just wanted to play a joke on the buyer who just gave you multiple hundreds of dollars. But let, let's just play a joke on you and make you think like you got a bad hit. And then just to say, oh, here's, you know, here's, here's actually your Venusaur or that happened. Either situation is bad. Both situations are unacceptable for a platform as high profile as whatnot, where so many people go to whatnot and trust that platform with their money. Doesn't matter which situation it is. The situation that Craig's trying to say and explain away, this is the situation that actually happened, or the worst situation that we don't know if that's actually happened, if the card was replaced, we have no proof, and they have no proof that it wasn't, and we have no proof that it was. Either situation is terrible. Either situation really implicates the entire whatnot streaming platform because again, the guy who's saying this was just a joke is the dude in charge of all TCGs and leadership is top down, baby. Uh, culture of a company starts at the top and comes all the way down. So if the guy who's in charge is willing to explain something away like this and tell people to shush in the chat who are raising legitimate concerns, and then everybody below what's going on all the way down. This entire situation could have been avoided. All of these people that got scammed from Blake's streamers selling resealed packs and all of this crazy stuff, none of that ever had to happen. If this would have been treated with the respect and with the serious that it should have been treated with two years ago. Absolutely insane situation, my friends. I wanna know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this specific break and how all of this could have been avoided two years ago and how all of this was swept under the rug. And then now we have this compounding and maturing and we have this huge situation where Lord knows how many people were scammed. I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know my friends, if you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, give the video a thumbs up. It's absolutely free for you to do that. And it really, really does help. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you wanna see in the world. See you next time.